Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a really exciting video. Now, if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you would know that I am a Ravenclaw. In fact, every single person in my household is a Ravenclaw. And I have been collecting Noble Collection replicas for quite a while now. I have a few of them on my shelves, but today I have a really exciting unboxing for you guys. And this piece is one that I have wanted in my collection for such a long time, but because it is on the pricier side of their replicas, I hadn't been able to obtain it just yet, but today I have it with me here for us to unbox together. So here is the item. I have been holding on to this package for the last two days. I have been so tempted to open it, but I wanted to hold off and open it with you guys on camera. Now I did order this through Amazon. Noble Collection has a dedicated storefront in Amazon where you can get their items as well. Sometimes the prices vary though a little bit from what they have listed on Amazon and their website. So I would check both locations just to make sure that you're getting the best price. But if you are going to go through Amazon to get your Noble Collection items, make sure you are purchasing them from the Noble Collection within Amazon and not just any random listing because I do know that Amazon has a couple of like fake replicas listed on their website. So you do want to be careful. Now, first impressions, I will say when I received the box, it doesn't look so small on camera, but when I received the box, I think I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm excited to see how this looks once we open it. So let me grab my knife. <laughs> Um, I actually broke the tip of this knife when I was making the wand stand that I have posted on my channel and my husband was laughing because he was like, we have so many tools that you could have used. Why use the tip of a knife? And I was like, I don't know. It's just what I had. So it's open. Okay. So this is the box. And once you open it, you have the box where the tiara comes in. So there's no like protective packaging around the box which I will say is a little bit uh, concerning. I think had whoever was dealing with this not been careful, this box could get a little bit damaged. But I think by the way my box looks, I should be pretty okay. So here is the item out of the packaging. Now I will say I am going to be extremely critical with this item because of the price tag. So I feel like if it was a replica that I only paid 30 or $40, I would be a little bit more lenient on my critique of the item. But because this is something that ends up costing over $150, I think it is valid for me to expect it to be in a certain condition. So first off, I want to say that I was expecting this box to be something other than cardboard. I don't know why I thought it was going to feel a little bit more luxurious but it is a cardboard box and here we have the raven now that is one thing that i wish noble collection would change i wish they would use the eagle in their replicas versus the raven just to be more book accurate um but either way it has a raven here and then it does have a small little ding right here it isn't broken or anything, but it does have like a small little ding. And I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I do imagine that this is because there is no protective like layer um, between the actual box it ships in and the box itself. So I wish they would put something there so that that wouldn't happen. And then if you look at the front of the box, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on camera, but there are some small like scratches and stuff on the top, which again, because of the price of the item, I wish that they would take more care of this box itself because ultimately when you're purchasing this item, you are paying for the diadem, yes, but this is also part of like what you're paying for. This is like the presentation. This is what's making it more luxurious. This is what they show in the movies. So I wish that they would have done a better job at protecting this box, being that it's just not like outer packaging or just packaging that you're going to chuck away, but it's something you would actually use to display. So um, I do have like those scratches right there. Now the inside of the box is in really good conditions, which is great. 
uh, because once I put this on the shelf, my intention is to put it in the shelf like this. So you won't really be seeing the back of the box that's kind of a little bit scratched. So that's good. So let's go ahead and get the diadem out. And then the box also has like this satin lining in there so that when you put the diadem in it looks nice and pretty as you display it so let me put this to the side and then we can get into the actual diadem all right Ooh, guys this is so exciting okay and here it is i will give you guys the first look oh my gosh it is so pretty oh it is so pretty oh my gosh i love it so much now i had seen this on camera in other unboxings and i think i had saw it like in person at universal studios but i had never had it like in my hand to where i could see it up and close now the diadem itself I know I've, I've said this like 20 times already in this video. The diadem itself does have the eagle and I appreciate that so much. Oh, my lights from the back just went out. And I appreciate that so much that we actually have our eagle. Is it focusing? Let's see. There you are. So the diadem itself does have the eagle on it versus the raven. So I do appreciate that much. My lights just went off and... It takes too long to charge them, so. But I love it so much. It is so beautiful. It looks just like it does in the movies. Now, this one, I think you can actually use it if you wanted to. Not that I would. Um, but see, you can use it if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend you using this for cosplay or anything like that. It's way too expensive to like just be around with it. Um... And then it has here, it says wit beyond measure on one side and man's greatest treasure. So wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. And it has all these little rhinestones here and the big rhinestone in the inside. And then on the back side of the diadem here, it has the trademark. It says Warner Brothers um, S23, which means 2023. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. Now, is it worth $161 that I paid for? Uh, it is like such a high price tag. I will be honest. Like, ew, part of me understands why they go that route. I mean, you are at the, at the end of the day, you are paying for the item. You're paying for the packaging. You're paying because of the movie franchise. You're paying because it's like an official replica and all this. I get that, but it is quite a high price tag for, I guess, maybe what it is because it is a small item. Um, you know, when you, when you actually look at it, like the item itself isn't like a huge item or anything. So it is quite a hefty price tag, but I think if it's something that you want, like you really, really want, or like in my case where I'm a Ravenclaw, like this is something that I feel like I just have to have in my collection, then I think it is worth it. I think, you know, it, it's something that you can probably get like a Christmas present or a birthday present or one of these presents, right? That's like that you can use as like a higher little price tag present or something like that. But overall, I love it so much. I am going to have a lot of fun finding space on my bookshelves for it. I'm happy I have it. I'm happy that I have it in my collection. Now, let me just look at it a little bit more in detail, make sure that the item itself is in good condition. So it seems like the actual diadem is in great condition. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, it looks good. I love it. Now, I, I know you can get like replicas of these where they're not like Noble Collection official or Warner Brother official or officially like Harry Potter license. And I think there's some of them that are kind of like a little bit on the cheaper side and they actually look like a little bit cheap, but I have seen a few that kind of look good. I think, I don't know, maybe at some point I'll order like a replica of a replica and see what the quality is like. And if it's worth splurging on the actual thing, 
But for now, I think I am super happy. It's so shiny. It's like so nice and bright and shiny. <laughs> um, so I think I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am so excited <laughs> with this item. So let me know down below if you think that $150 is a good price for this replica. Now I think on my wish list for Noble Collection items is definitely Hermione's bag and the Slytherin lockets. And I really, really do want to get Slughorn's Hourglass, but that one is kind of up there in price as well. So that one might have to wait for a while. I did also get two new wands for Valentine's Day. So let me know if you guys would like to see a video dedicated to my wand collection. But overall, thank you so much for taking your time and spending it with me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.